Good afternoon people, it's Les from orchidspecies.co.uk uh, Today what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be mounting some Mr. Sidium Bray Bonnet which is a, a plant from South Botswana and Northern South Africa um, which I suppose is Namakwa land as well uh, It's a, a deciduous plant and it's quite a tough growing thing uh, I'm going to be using, showing you two mounts today. We've got a, a Mopani wood, which is an African hardwood, which is as hard as nails. We'll just, just hear that. That's never going to rot. And then we've got some traditional cork. Uh, I've already attached a hanger on each. Um, so I'll show you these plants. This is a tray of uh, plants that were from Flask about probably two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, and they're now starting to show signs of growth. Uh, let me pick one out for you. See if I can show you this. If you can see, there is a root just starting to come out. Can you see it? Yeah. Anyway, that is telling me that these are now ready. So, I'm going to try with this Mapani mount first. You can see that. And what I'm going to do, let's get rid of them. What I'm going to do is lay this out so that the roots spread across it like a spider. You know, these roots on these particular plants are extremely fragile and they tend to break off right at the top if they're going to break off. So be, be careful. So that's how I've got it laid out, as you can see nicely nicely laid out so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix it using some raffia tape or string which is this kind of material which I find to be better than fishing line which can cut the roots and wire which is a bit too stiff now what I'm doing is all I'm doing is I'm wrapping these raffia around and trapping those roots onto the surface of the wood. You see that? Dead easy. And then at the back, take it off. Like that. Drop off that excess. And all we need to do with that now is fix the tag, which is pre-printed. And of course on the back of it is also today's date, which is the date of mounting. So there you go. That's that one. Now these roots that you can see that are on the wood now, these roots are not the roots that's going to attach to the wood. It's the new roots that's coming out. As soon as they touch that wood, they're going to start to change and the surface will grasp hold of it. These, what you might find, you might find that branches come off these roots or that the tip might extend and that bit might grab, but these bits will never grab. So don't be expecting them to, but as soon as the, uh, the new roots have got a hold of it, you can remove the string and then it's quite unsightly. So I'll just do this other one for you. This time we're doing it on cork. Grab on the good plant. This one. And again we'll do the same thing. I'll lay this out as best I can. I mean you're only really laying it out in this fashion because you're trying to stabilise the plant. Because then it's being held down in all directions when you apply your string. So let's do that one a bit long because I'm going to go further up the plant this time. So I'm attaching it quite close to the plant as you can see and then wrapping it around and this time I'm going to go down a bit before I can come back up and grab these longer ones. at the back and 
Now this plant is also, I should tell you, deciduous. So if it loses its leaves all of a sudden, don't panic. Because they tend to do that when it comes to, it's certainly in the UK anyway, when it comes to like November time. You can find that all the leaves will drop off it and you'll just be left with a little pile of roots. But come spring, come February, it'll start again. So there we are, that's the second one done. And again, all we need to do with that is fix the name tag. And again, on the back of it, it's got the, uh, the date that I mounted it. Tuck that in there. And there you go. Two Mr. Sidiums. Both mounted onto different materials. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Don't forget, you can buy the plants, you can buy the Mipani, you can buy them already mounted, you can buy all the materials, everything, at orchidspecies.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep tuned, because there's more to come.